To draw a three-dimensional shape in PowerPoint 2007, first, you'll need to draw a shape. So let's go to our Home tab to that Shapes drop-down and pick our Rectangle tool and just draw a big old square. I'm going to hold down my Shift key to make that a perfect square. Now to format this as a three-dimensional shape, let's right-click and go to Format Shape. And that will bring up our Format Shape dialog box. This window, by the way, can also be accessed from the Home tab, this little button in the lower right-hand corner of the drawing group. That will also bring up this window. Now the first thing that we want to do to make this square a cube is to go to the 3D Rotation tab. From here, you can choose from any number of presets, and from the Perspective group, I'm just going to choose the Perspective Heroic Extreme Left. And you can see that that will angle your object a little bit. Now, if you really want to create a genuine three-dimensional cube, for that, we're going to have to jump over to the 3D Format tab. In this section, you'll see a variety of beveled options. There's no bevel, which is what we have right now, and the same ones that we have from our Drawing Tools tab. There's Circle, there's Relaxed Inset, and a lot of others to choose from. But what we're really interested in is this depth section. Right now, our depth is set to zero points, which makes it a very flat object. We, however, want to bump this up to, let's say, let's try 500 points. And you can see what that does. It extends kind of like the back of our square. And right now that color is set to automatic, which in our case will make it black. We want to make it, again, look like a genuine cube, so we will want to choose a color that is close to the color of our square. The next thing after this that we can adjust is maybe the material that we're using. There's a matte finish a plastic finish, or even a metal finish. There's dark edge, soft edge, flat, and this weird wireframe thing. But for our purposes, let's switch ours back to a warm matte. The next thing that you can adjust, which I think is kind of cool, is the lighting, or how light hits our three-dimensional object. By default, it's set to three-point. There's also balance, soft, harsh, flood, and contrasting. You also have a variety of color washes. There's warm, a couple of different colors there, and some cool colors to choose from, and special ones as well. And some of those look kind of cartoony. Let's actually change ours back to balance. Now from here, we can also adjust the 3D rotation. If we skip over to this tab, in the rotation section, we can use these buttons to alter the perspective or the rotation of our object. And you can see, you can just play around with these until you have your object arranged the way you like. And that is creating a three-dimensional shape in PowerPoint 2007. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.